I didn't fancy doing a book review today, so I thought I would do another questions, another tag video because I really enjoyed doing the last one. This one is called 23 Deep Ass Questions. That's the name of it. Being very British, I don't sound right when I say ass. So 23 Deep Ass Questions. Okay, I've only read a few of these because I like them to be like, as someone just asked me just on the spot. So, okay, let's begin. What is more difficult for you? Looking into someone's eyes when you are telling someone how you feel or looking into someone's eyes when they tell you how they feel? Ooh, looking into someone's eyes when they tell me how they feel. Like, I don't really talk to people and stare at them like this anyway. So if someone's like telling me something really deep and emotional and you can see that in their eyes, it's like a no-go zone for me because it just chokes me up. Oh, I can't do it. I think of the last time you were really angry. Why were you angry? Do you still feel that way? Last time I was really angry I was probably at work. Customers or someone said the wrong thing to annoy me. Sometimes I'm really easy to anger. It depends what mood I'm in. So I can't even remember the last time they were angry. It was probably something pathetic and I forgot to apologise to that person afterwards. You are a flight from... Honolulu, is that how you pronounce it? To Chicago, non-stop. There is a fire at the back of the plane. You have enough time to make one phone call. Who do you call? What do you tell them? Well, I'm guessing if I was alone, I would call my husband and I would tell him I love him very much. Thank you all that he's done for me, all the support he's given me, and the, he shows me unconditional love. That's what I say to him, that there is, there is no one I love more than him. I love you doll. <laughs> you are at the doctor's office and he has informed you that you have approximately one month to live. Do you tell anyone you are going to die? What do you do your remaining days? Would you be afraid? These are real, I wouldn't say deep, these are real miserable questions. Yeah, I would tell people that I love that I was dying because I want them to appreciate every moment they have with this. I think I would try and travel as much as I could or just no, I wouldn't want to do that. I just want to spend time with like my parents, my grandparents, my this is my family, my friends, my husband. I would just want to savour those moments and leave them happy memories. I mean, of course I'd be afraid. It's the unknown, isn't it, death? Everyone is terrified of death because well, that's what I believe anyway, because we have no idea, like no idea what's out there or what's next or if, you know, if there is a next. So of course I'd be afraid. You can have one of the following two things. You can you can have one of the following two things. Which do you choose and why? Love or trust? I'm going to go for trust because love is nothing without trust. You can love someone and they can cheat on you over and over again and you won't respect them and you'll just be, your love to me will just be hollow. So I would choose trust. You were walking down the street on your way to work. There is a dog drowning in the canal on the other side of the street. Your boss has told you if you are late even once more, you are fired. Do you take the time to save the dog's life? Why or why not? I would save the dog's life because jobs are replaceable. That dog's life isn't and I love dogs and I couldn't ever live with myself if I watched this dog die and I knew I was the only one to help it. Would you rather be hurt by the one you trust the most or the one you love the most? Would you rather... Ooh. I suppose I'd rather be hurt by the one I love I most because that would also break the trust so it's a kind of connecting question for me because as, as I said before I don't want love without trust so if someone I love hurt my feelings you know if they then that would also break the trust your best friend confesses that he or she has feelings for you more than just friendship that he and she is falling in love with you what did you or what do you say I would tell him that, well, to be honest, a true friend wouldn't tell you how they felt if you are, or to me, okay, so again, so I'm already married, so in my mind, a true friend wouldn't come and put that pressure on you by saying, I have feelings for you, and then put me on the spot because it would cause a lot of stress, it causes a lot of anxiety and of other problems you'd always be questioning it it is not fair to do to someone in a relationship so I would say 
why did you tell me that? And if they said we needed to, I'd be like, okay, thank you, but that isn't going to change how I feel about my husband, and we're never going to be together, I'm sorry. Are you the kind of friend that you'd want to be friends as? No, I'm awful, I don't want to be friends with me. Does love equal sex? I don't believe that if you have sex, someone are going to fall in love with you. I mean, and I believe that some people, like people who are asexual, they love you and they never have sex. So I don't believe you have to have sex if you're in love. If you're in love, it's something completely different beyond sex. It is the most incredible feeling. Your boss tells your coworker that they have to let them go because of the work shortage and they are the newest employee. You have been there much longer. Your coworker has a family to support and now the means of income. Do you go to your boss and offer to leave the company? Why or why not? I would not offer to leave the company, that might sound awful, but even though they have a family support, I also have my own life to support and sometimes you have to be selfish, I'm sorry. When was the last time you told someone honestly how you felt, regardless of how difficult it was for you to say? Who was it? What did you tell that person? Um, I suppose sometimes when you have to tell a friend that they're being shitty and you have to say goodbye to them because they're not healthy for you. That was probably the last time you have to take a step back from certain people. What would be harder for you to tell a member of the opposite slash same sex you love them or that they do not love you back? Um, I think I'd put it if I was in love with someone and I didn't know I just wouldn't tell them because I would be scared of the rejection afterwards. So to tell them that I love them, because then, you know, rather not know. What do you think would be the hardest thing for you to give up? Why would it be hard to lose? It'd have to be my husband. I, I couldn't stand losing him because I don't believe you have to be with someone to feel complete. You know, I choose to be with my husband. I don't need him. I choose to be with him because I love him. And I'm going, I want to love him for eternity. You know, I hope nothing ever goes wrong. I love him so much and I'm, I could never lose him. Never want to lose him. If there was one moment and one time in the last month, what would you change and why? I don't believe in regrets or changing anything. Everything happens for a reason. Would you give a homeless person CPR if they were dying? Of course I would. They're still alive, homeless or not. Plus, you know, that person's future might get better if I just let them die. They have no future. You are holding onto your grandmother's hand and the hand of a newborn that you do not know. As they hang over the edge of a cliff, you have to let one go to save the other. Who do you let fall to their death? What was your ration for making this decision? Uh, as bad as it sounds, I would probably let my grandmother go, even though I love my grandmother so, so much. She's an incredible woman. But she would say to me, I've, you know, I've had my life, I'm older, this child is new and has a future. I don't think she would want me to sacrifice a brand new life for an older life, as you put it. You know, it would be an extremely hard decision. And I would probably never forgive myself, but I also can never forgive myself if I let a newborn baby die. Are you old fashioned? I suppose in some ways I am. Like, I have nothing against people having casual sex and whatever, but I am use protection. You know, I don't care how it doesn't feel as good or whatever. You always use protection, always have self respect things like that so I suppose it's more morals than old-fashioned but I'm gonna say yeah I'm old-fashioned in some ways when was the last time you were nice to someone and did not expect anything in return I'm nice to baddies every day and I'm obviously nice to your family and friends and don't expect anything in return because that's not how it works and you want to make the people you love happy what would you choose true love with a guarantee of a broken heart or never loved at all I would choose true love with a broken heart because at least I could say I loved and you know I'd probably love again so I'd rather I'd rather have that because like I said before love is amazing I sound like Dumbledore last question if you could do anything or wish anything what would it be if I could do anything or wish anything I'm not going to sound like world peace or anything because I don't believe there will ever be world peace because there is millions of people on this earth with different opinions and that to me is never going to be possible. But if I could, mm, if I could wish it anything, it would be that everyone that I love, it's going to sound really cheesy, but everyone that I love has a good long life and that they're happy 
that's what I'd like. I hope that wasn't all too cheesy and lovey-dovey for you. If it was, I'm sorry. But obviously, I do have a heart. Just don't tell anyone. But I hope you enjoyed that. Please do this as well. It's fun doing these tags. I'll put a link below. So, thank you very much. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.